Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jace from Gen Z Reptiles. And you might remember not too long ago, we had an albino clutch hatching. Well, we have their update ready for today. Um, we're pretty excited about how this this clutch turned out. The odds are pretty nuts. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get, get right into showing you guys these awesome snakes. All right, so if you didn't catch that first video, you don't remember the pairing was an albino male to a yellow belly het albino female. And so, the, basically the way the odds should have worked out is that half the baby should have come out albino, half the baby should have come out yellow belly. So when you break that down, that's a quarter albino, a quarter yellow belly albino, a quarter yellow belly and a quarter normal. That yellow belly being hat albino and the normal also being hat albino. So uh, the odds were pretty in our favor. Um, we got four albinos total in this clutch. And this first one here is that uh, that um, single gene albino. So uh, just that what you typically expect from an albino. Let's see if we can get those red eyes in the frame here. Um, they're lacking the melanin. That's what albinism is. So it basically just pulls all the dark coloration out and leaves the yellows and the whites. So we got red eyes, these nice yellow markings. Um, and then the white here is pretty crisp. So yeah, got the albino there. And then just for kind of comparison sake, we have the normal het albino sibling. And these are actually the two boys of the clutch. The other, the other babies were females. So there's those two. All right, so these last three, um, the odds are really in our favor. We got three female albino yellow bellies. So you might think that they look pretty similar um, to the other one, but what helps us differentiate this from the normal is around the yellow spots, we get this darker orange. So you can get that to focus there. The darker orange outlinings on the yellow spot and the contrast between the yellow and the white is um, a lot more noticeable. You get this super high contrast albino look from the yellow belly. We also have some very interesting flaming here. So the normal albino will show something similar to this, but we get a lot more of these uh, deeper orange spots down at the bottom. And there's um, kind of yellow that trails along the entire way there, uh, which comes from that yellow belly lineage. So we're super pumped about this. We've got these three beautiful, beautiful females. Um, we'll see if we can get all three of them in one shot here. And next I'm gonna go ahead and pull out that normal albino to see it's a super subtle difference but um we'll sh we'll show it just so you can see what we're seeing and hopefully it picks up well on the camera there um so yeah there's those three females and i'll be back in a second with that uh albino male this right here is the male and the side by side comparison you can see that his yellows even though there's pretty good contrast there they're not as bright and he just doesn't have that deep orange outlining that some of these have. Um, so that's that's the big thing that's helping us differentiate. We were having difficulties at first, but um, when you kind of look at him from a little bit further back too, his yellow is just not as deep, golden, mustardy um, yellow as these ones are. So yeah, super pumped about these odds and um, these ones will probably be available soon. So if you are wanting an albino or an albino yellow belly, do not sleep on this clutch.